The world is well aware that Donald Trump has made it this far in life through the use of lies. Nobody outside the diminishing cult that believes every word out of his mouth believes that Trump legitimately made money in any investment he ever made. Instead, Trump has proven to be a failure as the head of a casino, a professional football owner, and as an illegitimate president. If professional failure wasn't enough, it has now become evident, not that it wasn't already assumed, that Trump was unsuccessful in academia. For someone who publicly called out for the release of President Obama's school records, it is rather pathetic that a fraud would do everything in his power to prevent the release of his own personal academic scores. While Trump employs a team of individuals paid to lie on his behalf, things become awkward when such individuals are called out by loved ones. Trump's top propagandist, Kellyanne Conway, is most well known for spewing alternative facts that conflate the truth in order to benefit Trump's proposed point of view. Conway's own husband has clearly become sick of such lies, as evidenced by his recent tweets. George Conway, Kellyanne's husband, recently agreed with SV Date, a White House correspondent for Huffington Post who corrected Trump by saying, no, major sections of wall are not being built. Conway added exactly. It's a brazen and ridiculous lie, repeated over and over and over and over again, to cover the fact that he was asleep at the switch for two years. Number Conway was one of the first to utilize that hashtag in an effort to publicize the fact that Trump not only was never at the apex of his academic life but was also never near the top. While it is clear to the majority of people that Trump was never at the summit of anything in his life, it seems necessary to state that Trump has always been, and will continue to be, an absolute failure.